What's going on everybody, it's Uncle Muscles, and today I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, uh, well not how necessarily, but I'm just showing you my build for the, uh, I'm making a Hackintosh computer. And uh, I'm just showing you guys the parts I got. I'll start off with the motherboard. I got an AS Rock H97M ITX AC. This is a mini ITX board. Um, it's a little smaller than a normal uh, standard ATX board, smaller than the mini IT ATX board. It's the smallest board that basically is available for uh, motherboards right now. It's so used in servers and little small HTPCs. Uh, and this isn't going to be a major build. There's not going to be any graphics cards or anything like that in it. Uh, it's just going to use the integrated graphics from the HD, uh, the HD 4600 graphics that I have. I'll show you the uh, the uh, GPU in a second. But that's going to all fit in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful do-it-yourself PC case. Um, this is nice because this is a Hackintosh. It looks like it would be a Mac. I mean, this type of case is very nice. I'm not doing like the whole thing about it. I'm not going all around it. I'll show you guys the back a bit of it. Uh, it's a really nice case, I have to admit. Um, it's a little weird because there's no way to get the uh, the power supply itself was going to be placed on the bottom. Here, let's just see if I can. Uh... Yeah, the power supply itself is going to be placed here at the bottom, and so there's going to have to have this cable that comes around the side here and comes around and pokes out. Um, I don't know if that's really the greatest thing ever. Um, we might have to figure out another way to kind of make this work. Um, but it seemed like everybody had no real issue with this, so it's gonna be fine. But that's gonna be where the uh, where the power supply goes. So uh, that's what I read. It should be okay. Put this back up on the side. But it's a really nice case. Very impressed with it. So we got the AS Rocks H97M ITX AC. So that has the uh, wireless AC and Bluetooth connection. That'd be great for our little Mac. Uh, we're using 16 gigabytes of Team Elite or something. Team Vulcan. Uh, 16 gigabyte memory two kits there so it's uh two pieces of eight gigabyte memory 10 10 10 27 uh it's a 1600 uh clock speed so that's fine uh and then we have the intel and and amd h55 the difference between the h50 and the h55 is that the h50 has only intel and the h55 has amd as well so uh i got the h55 this is gonna be an intel build obviously but I'm going to, uh, you know, I always, I, I like to have extra spare parts. There was no price difference between the two. So now I have extra AMD uh, parts just in case I need any of that for another rainy day. Um, I'll go on to the i7 processor. This is the i7 4790K LJ1150 socket. Uh, this is the unlocked Devil's Canyon processor, i7. The reason why we went with the i7 is because for music production, that's what this computer is mainly going to be based off of or may be uh, used for. Music production uses uh, hyper-threading. Um, in certain aspects of it, especially in live recording, it definitely could be useful to have more core processing power. Um, we were going to go with an i5, but it just decided, you know what, this, there's not really much else going into this computer besides just awesome raw computing power, so let's just get an awesome i7 and make this bad boy work. So it's going to be doing some work, we're going to be crunching some notes, playing a little music on it, doing a little Logic Pro. Uh, Okay, and this is our SSD. Now, this SSD actually I'm stealing. Uh, I'm going to use the 480 in my machine. I'm going to. I have. A, I have the same A data. Uh, it's a. It's a uh, 240 gigabyte hard drive. I'm going to be swapping out mine, but it's the same module model essentially. So mine is a little bit smaller, and I'm going to use that in this build. And I'm going to take the 480 and put it in my awesome gaming machine because I'm a boss and I need more space for all my video games. But anyway, so yeah, we got the H55. Oh, and then also we're using the uh, HX 650 watt. Now this actually I might swap out also. Um, this is just a power supply I had lying around. And I have this other little custom server I made that's using an ATX power supply that's only about 450 watts. Um, I think I might put that in here and put this card in that one and then we'll see what happens. I was gonna do a little GPU mining on that for some uh, cryptocurrency on one of my servers. I decided I could put a graphics card in there and so maybe I'll swap out and put that one in there instead. But and for the most part, these are this is what the parts are gonna look like. Um, it's not too complicated. Uh, it's basically just an Intel PC, and then we're gonna be loading some special software on there. So, guys, take a take a note at what I got here. If you're interested in building your own Macintosh, Hackintosh, and uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't like it, and let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.